All right, guys, let's see how we can solve question three from the chapter two of Merriam textbook and engineering mechanics. And in this one, we have the slope of the 6.5 kilonewton force F that is specified as we can see in the figure. And we need to express F as a vector in terms of the unit vector I and J. So as we discussed in the previous videos, first of all, we need to resolve this force into X and Y components. And for that, we can use either the parallelogram law or the triangle rule so if you look at this force we'll see if we break it down to x and y component this will be our x and this will be y component as we can see both of them are acting along negative x and y axis and this will be our rectangle so the resultant of these two would be what we have for fx and fy and we have information about the slope of this force if we show it in this right triangle that we can see so basically we have this side 12 the other side 5 and if we use the pythagorean theorem the hypotenuse would be 13 which will be the square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared so let's go with fx and fy fx as i mentioned it's to the left so it's negative and as we can see, fx, if we call this angle here, alpha would be the cosine of alpha. So our f is 6.5. And the x component would be cosine of alpha. And cosine of alpha in here would be the adjacent, which is 12, over the hypotenuse 13. So 6.5 times 12 divided by 13. Let's calculate this. So we're going to have minus 6.5 times 12 divided by 13. So this is going to give us minus 6 kilonewton as for fx. And if you want to find the y component, fy would be, again, since it's downward, it's going to be negative 6.5. And this time we'll have the sine of alpha, so look at this right triangle in here, we're going to have the sine of alpha, which is basically this right triangle. Sine of alpha would be the opposite, which would be 5 over the hypotenuse 13. So 5 over 13. Let's see what we get in here. So basically 6.5 times 5 divided by 13. That's going to be minus 2.5 kilo newtons. So these are the scalar component for X and Y. And if you want to show our force, and if you want to express it as a vector, we're going to have the X component minus 6, I minus 2.5 J, which are uh, which is our unit vector, unit vector for Y, and the unit is kilo newtons. And this is going to be the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.